Demo 9.13 Create Planned Order In this demo, we will create the planned order to produce the bikes in the Dallas plant. In the planned order menu, select Transaction MD11 Create. Select the proper planned order profile. Next, click the Enter icon to continue. Enter the appropriate data in the Material, Planning Field, Order Quantity, Order Finish Date, Producing Plant, and Storage Location fields. Next, click the Save icon to create the planned order. The system displays the planned order number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note this number and then click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now convert our planned order to a production order. In the Convert to Production Order menu, select Transaction CO40, Individual Conversion. Enter the planned order and order type, then click the Enter icon to continue. Verify that the data are correct. Next, click the Save icon to create the production order. The system displays the order number in the bottom left corner of the screen. Note this number because you will need it later. Click the back icon to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now view the stock in our plants. In the Stock menu, select Transaction MB52, Warehouse Stock. Enter the Material, Plant and Storage location, then click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays the stock of the selected material. There has been no change in the balance. Click the back icon to return to the previous screen. Change the plant field to SD00 to view the balance of bikes at the San Diego plant. Click the Execute icon to continue. Notice that the stock balance has not changed. Click the back icon to return to the previous screen. Change the material to the Touring Aluminum Wheel Assembly, TRWA1000, and adjust the plant and S-lock data to check the stock balance of the wheel assembly that is used to create the bike. After you have entered the proper data, click the Execute icon to continue. The system indicates that there has been no change to the stock balance. Click the back icon to return to the previous screen. Finally, change the material and S-lock data to view the stock balance of the raw materials. After you have completed the proper changes in the required fields, click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays a list of all the raw materials that are in the system. There are no raw materials currently in stock. Click the back icon two times to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. We will now look at the stock balance within our storage bin. In the Display menu, select Transaction LX03, Bin Status Report. Enter the warehouse number, storage type, and storage bin. Then click the Execute icon to continue. Double-click on the storage bin number to view the bin details for the storage bin. In the Display Storage Bin screen, we will see that the stock in the storage bin has not changed. Click the back icon three times to return to the SAP Easy Access menu. Next, we will look at the balances for our inventory accounts. In the Account menu, select Transaction FAGLB03. Display Balances, New. Enter the account number, company code, and fiscal year. Next, click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays a message stating that there are no data in the system. This lack of data reflects the fact that there are no raw materials in stock. Click the Enter icon to continue. Change the account number to the Finished Goods account, then click the Execute icon to continue. The system displays the balance for the account. Double-click on the debit balance to view the line items. 
the system displays the documents that were debited to this account. Click the back icon to return to the balance display screen. Next, double click on the credit balance to view the line items. The system displays the documents that were posted to this account. Click the back icon twice to return to the initial screen. Finally, change the account number to view the semi-finished goods account balance. Then, click the Execute icon to continue. The Balance Display screen indicates this account has only a debit balance. Double-click on the debit balance to view the line items. The system displays the documents that were debited to this account. Note, to view the document, select it and click the Display Document icon. Demo 9.13 Create Planned Order